What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to ICMV Drivers Edition. And today, we're heading out to another car meet. We're going to the Barrington Motor Works Cars and Coffee. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the highlights of everything that turned out and hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So Barrington Motor Works consists of Porsche, Mercedes, Infiniti, and Honda. And they have a nice high-end exotic used car department. Because of what the dealership sells, there was no denying in my mind that when we came out, we would see a lot of Porsches and I have a nice exotic car turnout. And that's exactly what we got. So right now, as you look, you get to see a nice Porsche Carrera GT. It's a true exotic and I rarely ever see them on the street. So when I get to see one firsthand in person, it's actually a very nice feel. Hope you enjoy it. Now you know I am a Lambo guy at heart. So when I saw this Huracan with the wide body kit, I had to go take a look. And not only did I have to go take a look, I will admit to you, I thought it was kind of impressive. Now myself, personally, I don't know if I would actually put a wide body kit on my Huracan, but what I do like about this Huracan and the wide body kit, just like my current C8 it also have what they consider a duck bill or some people call a duck tail wing and I've really never seen that on a Huracan before and I think it actually gives it a nice unique look and so you know my approach on vehicles is that I always want to have something that's slightly different so this is something I would actually consider on a Huracan if I purchase one or let's just say when I purchase one Now this white Huracan right here, this to me screams ICMV driver's edition all day long. Now of course that is not my logo on the hood of the car, but minus the wheels on this vehicle, I think this is truly what I'm looking for in a Huracan. I have to have a convertible and I love the color white. I know you don't know that, by Zeus, but Zeus was definitely unique, which I would definitely just get a white Huracan and then possibly consider wrapping it in a different color to make it look unique. But white is truly my favorite color. And I will say this to you, just something about a white vehicle 
that when it's clean, to me, nothing compares to it. It looks more luxurious. But this Hervicon is what I would say is the perfect vehicle for my desires. And that's why I want to get one. So enjoy the look. It's just something about Lambos. I don't know, man. I know I've been asked several times, would you do a coupe? And I'll be honest with you, as of right now, my intent is to keep Zeus even when I move into my next supercar. So I feel like I could do a coupe if I know the car I'm going to be predominantly in is a convertible at home. So it's a possibility. But check out the interior on this Huracan. I love it. Now, don't get me wrong, the slightly older one interior works too. Now, as we take a look at this Huracan STO, the one thing I would say about this vehicle is when I said those wheels on the white one didn't work out, I love the wheels on this green. Now, this car right here is what I would consider a radical color, and I love it. Like I said, I expected tons of supercars to show up. So the Audi R8 and the Acura NSX, these were two vehicles I was considering at first before I got Zeus. And it's only right there in attendance. And like I said before, Barrington Motor Works is known for Porsches. So I expected to see some Porsches out here. Now this Porsche on these Rona wheels looks really nice. Now let's get into this Ford GT. You don't see these every day. This is another American made supercar. Because they're so limited in production, they have an extremely high cost and those two combinations help keep this car rare. So you don't see one of these every day. So I hope you enjoy getting to see this one firsthand. Now, one thing I will say, and I was surprised, is that the interior didn't move me that much. But what I started to realize with a lot of supercars, the interior is really not the focus because they're trying to get the most performance out of the car. So a lot of the interiors are kind of basic. And I guess that would be nowhere near different for the Ford GT. Now there was a point I actually wanted to get this Mercedes right here with the gold wing doors. But the funny thing about it is, I wanted a convertible and I didn't know which one I wanted more. So I ended up not even chasing the car. But to me, this was nothing more than a Dodge Viper and a Mercedes body. Now, I can't lie, I had to film this vehicle. I was a crazy Dukes of Hazards fan when I was growing up. And what makes this vehicle so unique? It's actually one of the real cars from the Dukes of Hazard. And when you get around to the trunk, you will see it's signed by I'm not sure of all the cast numbers. It has a lot of authentic signatures from the cast of the Dukes of Hazard, And the owner is very proud of this vehicle. He actually has the paperwork that he carries with him when he brings it out and he doesn't bring it out that often. That has the documentation verifying this is an authentic vehicle. So this is something you don't get to see every day and it's not a 
homemade built replica. Gotta love the General Lee. Let's take a moment. Please hit the like and subscribe. Like the video if you haven't done it already. But please share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel. We talk about all type of information when it comes to dealing with cars. And I think it's a fun channel to enjoy and see some content from. So please subscribe to the channel. By the way, if you haven't heard, again, the ICMV Driver's Edition $250 gas car giveaway. Gas prices are going up and you shouldn't have to make life changing decisions while you're sitting at the pump. So we're trying to help out with that. Buy a raffle ticket, enter to win $250 and free gas gift cards. You can also participate in this by going to the website and buy some merchandise between May 2nd and July 15th. And for every $5 you spend, it will be matched off with the same equivalence you would get if you bought raffle tickets. So check it out. There's a link in the description below. We're giving away $250 in gas cards. So you can purchase a raffle ticket on your own or you can get some merch. But either way, you will be answered to win. Let's get back to the video. As we head to the back parking lot, as you see, it's more Lambos. And not only is it more Lambos, they're white Lambos. But these are actual cars that still belong to Barrington Motor Works. So these Lambos are actually for sale. Pretty much the Lambos and the McLaren you see are actually for sale. And like I said before, considering I'm willing to keep Zeus, and that can be my predominant convertible that I drive every day. I really like the white Lambo with the stripe. I love the rear wing on the Lambo, and I could see myself purchasing this Lambo, tinting the windows, and enjoying it. But not only that, the one next to it with the windows already tinted isn't a bad option either. So truthfully, I could take either one and be happy. Now let's take a quick look at the McLarens they had to offer because these vehicles are also for sale by Barrington Motor Works. And I really strongly thought about getting a McLaren, but my issue with the McLaren is they just don't have a reliable reputation. And even when I talk to people or McLaren owners about them, most of them have issues. Well, let me say this to you. I've seen a lot of McLaren owners with check engine lights on and it's for a part they're waiting on or they're still driving the car saying it's not that serious but i don't feel like my car should have to have a check engine light on so to me that makes me skeptical about getting a mclaren and i always get the response that this mclaren is just as reliable as any other mclaren and i don't even know what that means now they have a nice ferrari here and they have some vipers which at one point I did consider a Viper back when I had my C7 Corvette. But they just didn't have a nice convertible option. I really didn't want to drive stick all day. Here's another nice Porsche, and I like what I said before, I expected to see a nice turnout with Porsches, and I wasn't disappointed on that aspect. We had several GT2 RSs and GT3s in attendance. Now, before I close this video out, of course, I have to give you a shot of my baby, Zeus. And it's something about when the sunlight hits this color, it stands out and attracts a lot of attention. So 
So I want to thank everybody for tuning in as I give you a fade away with some Corvettes. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you in these streets. Peace.